My hat was the survival item to keep my head warm. Very important, because I always believe if you keep your head warm, you keep the body warm. Another important item is this cup. I would never urinate on private poverty because I think it's not right to do so, or doorways, etc. And I always found having a cup was uh, kept me one step away from the law because <laughs> it is an offence, as everybody knows. So people don't realise when you haven't got a toilet how important it is. Well, to end up homeless could be a multitude of uh, sins, really, but it was just conflict in the family and finances, mainly finances, was the cause of the conflict. I fell down some stairs backwards and unfortunately the impact was quite very severe. And because uh, I didn't realise after my accident, I'd actually broken my neck and my back. But at the time I got up and walked away, not thinking I was seriously injured. The accident caused me to, you know, being in and out of work, you know, one minute being in a job, then out of a job because of circumstances. You know, your finances go up and down and then they're not about, about pay bills and then it did, it did, that's where I landed eventually on the streets because of lack of work and not able to work. So that was the problem. That's where it led me. That was the beginning, the catalyst. For me to just walk out, you know, which is a bit cowardly in a way, but it just got too much. I thought, oh, no, nothing's going right, couldn't pay the bills. It can happen to anybody. It creeps up on people. People don't realise it can creep up on you. And it did major creeped up on me. <laughs> I was ambushed. <laughs> but there you go. The loneliness is first. You know, you, you suddenly feel loneliness, isolated. And it, some days you can go without talking to anyone. You know, unless I talk to somebody in the library, but not, you know, contact friends. Some people would see me and acknowledge me, but at the end of the day, I didn't want to be seen sometimes. That's my, that was my problem. I didn't want to be seen. And some people do that. Well, you know, when you're down, you're down, you know, you don't think, you know, it's a, it's, to me it's, it's a big loss, you know, from where I was to become to being down. A bit of embarrassment as well, you know. You, even though I was surviving, doing well, in a sense, it's still an embarrassment to say, oh, I'm living on the streets. And also, oh, I don't know. Um, well, I was probably disappointed with myself being there in that position. That's probably the major thing. Another important thing is what came from glass door was a sleeping bag. Because when I was on the streets, all I had was my jacket to cover me. So a sleeping bag was like a room, believe it or not. He is snug, as they say, snug as a bug in a rug. So that was quite nice. And I used to go to the park, in Windsor Park, to the toilets where I could get a wash and a sh I used to have a shave every couple of days, which is psychologically very good. And I always made sure I washed every day. I did once walk from North West London to South West London for an um, interview, job interview. About four hours one way, four hours back. It was a long walk. <laughs> but unfortunately, I didn't get the job, but I did the walk. <laughs> Another important thing came from glass door was the door keys to accommodation. It's almost like uh, you won the lottery in a way, you know, going from the streets to a door key, because I didn't have any keys on me, no keys at all for anything. So you don't realise what, you know, being able to cook my food, being able to make a cup of tea when I want a cup of tea, and a bed. So the sleeping bag's still with me, but uh, I don't have to use the sleeping bag. <laughs> Without an address, it's very awkward and, and difficult to achieve anything. You know, if you've got a roof over your head, you've got a job, you should keep it, you know. Don't take for granted what you've got, because you never know, you know. You know, homelessness is not a, not a good thing for anyone. You always should be prepared to never be judgmental about people. I met a lady who was who looks homeless the other day. Uh, she was travelling on the bus and she was just keeping warm on the bus and asked me for some change. And she was an ex-primary school teacher. So you never know who's on the streets or what background or what's caused them to be there. So don't be too judgmental, because you never know, it could happen to you one day. So, you know, that's the way I look at it. Uh, hopefully it doesn't happen to any, you know, anybody I know. <laughs> there you go.